What can one say about the masterful saxophonist, soprano saxophonist, Jane Ira Bloom? Or let's pivot. What do others say? Uh, some periodicals mention that she has the most gorgeous tone and haunting lyrical ballad conceptions of any saxophonist, soprano saxophonist. Uh, this is backed by her consistently winning, I think, or being in the top three on numerous downbeat jazz polls for soprano saxophonists. Uh, the history says she's a tenured professor at the New School for a long time for music. Um, she is also the first musician ever to compose and be commissioned by NASA for music in our space. How about that? And more recently, because of her influence and the respect it gets, uh, she's had a cutting-edge women's music festival named after her, uh, appropriately, the Bloom Festival. So we're going to hear the soprano festications of Jane Ira Bloom, extraordinaire saxophonist, soprano saxophonist, We'll hear up first Wing Dining from her effort, The Nearness, self produced in 1996 with Kenny Wheeler on, excuse me, Kenny Wheeler on trumpet, and Flugelhorn, Julian Priester on trombone and bass trombone, Fred Hirsch, of course, on piano, Rufus Reed on the contrabass, and Bobby Privet on skins, who you'll hear a lot of on this as he collaborates regularly with her and has. Uh, we'll follow Wing Dining with Jackson Pollock from her effort uh, in 2003 on Arabesque, Chasing Paint. Jean Ira Bloom meets Jackson Pollock with Fred Hirsch again, Mark Dresser on bass, and Bobby Privet on skins. Third tune-up will be What She Wanted from her effort in 2014, 16 Sunsets uh, on her... Uh, self-created uh, label Outlawing. Uh, she'll play there with Dominic Felicaro on piano, Cameron Brown on bass, and the great Matt Wilson on drums. Fourth tune-up will be Cornets of Paradise from her award-winning, Grammy-winning album of uh, 2016, I believe, Early Americans on Outline. Mark Haleas on bass and Bobby Privet again on drums, the Cornets of Paradise. We'll follow that with I Could Have Danced All Night uh, from her album Self Produced in 2011 with Dawn Clement on Fender Rhodes, Mark Haleas on bass and Bobby Privet on drums. I believe she plays solo here. And we'll continue with Hawkins as in Coleman Hawkins, Hawkins' Parallel Universe from her effort in 1992, Art and Aviation, indeed, on Arabesque, with a lot of people. I think we'll hear Ron Horton on trumpet here, but there's also Kenny Wheeler, trumpet player, Kenny Werner on piano, Jerry Grinelli on um, drums and percussion, and Michael Formanek on bass. We'll follow that with I Got Rhythm But No Melody, from her Mighty Lights effort in 1983 on Inja, with the great Charlie Hayden on bass, Ed, and equally great Ed Blackwell on drums, and Fred Hirsch on piano. We'll conclude with two compositions. Uh, one, Straight Note Chaser, Miro, from her Art and Aviation arabesque effort, and Somewhere, the familiar tune, uh, Early Americans, with Mark Calais and Bobby Pavit. Let's listen to the extraordinary mastery and beautiful, gorgeous tones of Jean Ira Bloom, Wing Dining on Horn Music, episode number 45. <laughs>
Double, did it? Mm-hmm. 
from Groovy Electronica there. Mm-hmm. 